helped save a uh, gray whale uh, recently, and I was just so blown away by the story. I had to have him here to tell the story. And I think uh, I know about this because, and, and I didn't know about it until about four years ago when I started uh, doing a little bit of uh, research. Um, so these, these nets that the whales and dolphins are getting caught, and when you pulled the, the net off, just quickly, when you pulled the net off of this whale that you saved uh, last week, inside of the net were sea lions, a sea lion? There was a sea lion, there was uh, crabs, there were uh, two uh, leopard sharks and another shark and a whole bunch of squid eggs, a whole ecosystem was yeah. in that thing. So, and these, these nets, for people to understand what they are, um, this is this is where we get our fish from. There are fishing nets in the ocean, and so in the United States, there's stricter laws, right? Yeah, we we we're only allowed to have mile long gill nets here, but in other parts of the world, they can be 30 miles. So so in the United States, there is a mile of net, and it's like a curtain. It goes down to the bottom, so everything that swims in its way gets caught in there. Literally everything. They're just looking for fish, but in the in the meantime. There, there's, like we said, there's all these sea turtles, beautiful creatures that, that sea migrate, birds, yeah. sea birds uh, that migrate 3,500 miles, ma magnificent journeys get caught in this curtain. Absolutely. And then 30 miles of net in other parts of the world. And, you know, um, uh, there's about 1,000 dolphins and whales that are getting caught in these nets every single day. I mean, it's, it's a huge problem. Uh, nets and fishing gear are responsible for 308,000 uh, dolphins and whales dying every year. 308,000 a year. And they are saying at this rate, and literally it is the entire ecosystem because they are scraping away coral reefs, they're scraping away every single thing that's in the ocean. Um, it's one of the reasons I stopped eating fish when I learned about this. Everybody can make up your own mind, do what you want, but when I learned what happens in order to eat a piece of fish, I, I didn't want to have anything to do with that. It broke my heart. And, and then I learned that if we don't change what we're doing right now, mm the entire ocean could, in 50 years, everything will be out of it. In 50 years, everything will be gone. Yeah, we're, we're, we're really on the, on the path to destruction right now. Yeah, and, and you know, like you said, we're losing these magnificent creatures that, that are just you know, sensitive and intelligent. And yes, and you know, the thing that I, I, that I wanna say is that um, the next time this, the issue is so important that people know about it. The, the, the best thing we can do right now is everybody in this audience and everybody listening at home and watching, tell your friends about this. Tell them how many whales and dolphins are dying. And show them the show, um, you know, because that's the first thing we have to do to do something about this. And then next, maybe we can get uh, our fish labeled with bycatch so we can tell zero uh, to five. Zero meaning no bycatch, five meaning that, you know, uh, it, there's a 30 mile long gill net. So then we, people can make good choices about what right. they eat. And that's, it, that's huge. Exactly. I just think we need to know about it because I think most people, we just assume someone's taking care of this, this amazing planet that we live on and, and everything is going to be okay. But we really have to take responsibility, each and every one of us, and understand we have, we have to look at what we're doing and, and what what happens before it gets to our plate because uh, it's just it's sad to me it's very very sad to me and I'm I'm just so thankful for people like you we're gonna uh, put on our website uh, information on how uh, you can make a difference how you can either donate to certain charities that are helping or what you can do and uh, also to purchase uh, Captain Dave's book Lily a gray whales odyssey it's a beautiful story and beautiful photographs and uh, we will be right back <laughs>